Why, hello, happy Thursday. Um, I have a big topic that I want to chat about today. Uh, and the reason why I thought of this question is because it's been a pretty busy couple weeks around here with a lot of uh, new clients through the career transitioning I do with Rice Smart, uh, also onboarding new clients uh, from the birthday sale, um, just talking to a lot of people through discovery and discover your career calls. Um, and there's been sort of a common theme, uh, which led me to thinking about diving into this question of what to do when it all seems to be too much. So first of all, uh, there isn't much to update because it's been pretty busy and that, but I want to remind everyone who lives in the Halton region or works in the Halton region that I have uh, started that career networking group. Um, it's just really a place for men and women to come to find support on their job search and in their careers, uh, to find tips and tricks, to figure out what it is that you want to to, to sort of do and help and the help you need to really get ahead and find that success. Um, now, I, there were three areas of people that I was really hoping to get uh, in the career networking group, HR professionals, we have a ton of those. Luckily, I have a lot of people in my network uh, who are that, which is great. Um, I would love some more tax preparers or accountants. So if anyone knows of any of that, please feel free to share it with them. Um, and employment lawyers. Uh, which is a big one. Uh, so if you know of anyone in Ontario that knows the labor laws, then that would be great. Um, so when getting to the question at hand, you, when you just don't know where to start, there is uh, a whole bunch of things that I heard when I was talking to people this week. Uh, and I know because I have felt like this in other areas of my life. And so when you feel like you're stuck in quicksand or like you have cement blocks on your feet, uh, you're sort of underwater and you just wrapped up in a blanket and you can't move, you're stuck and you don't know how to save yourself. Um, usually you're feeling incredibly overwhelmed. You're feeling discouraged. You're feeling stressed to the max, um, stuck lost, feelings of depression are normal, super anxious because you're like, I know I need to change, but like, I don't know how to change it. Um, your head is sort of spinning with options and all of these things that you need to do. And honestly, all of this impacts your self-esteem, which is probably already lower than it would normally be due to going through this sort of challenging time. But the feeling stuck you end up kind of hating yourself a little bit more because you're like, why can't I just do something? Why do I wake up every few months still in the same situation? And what is wrong with me? So you feel ashamed. You feel almost humiliated. Um, and so sometimes it's easier just to bury your head in the sand some more than it is to do something about it. <clears throat> And like, again, it could give, yes, there's so, thanks, Jennifer. There's just too much information out there, too much advice. A lot of it always conflicting. It's like, come on, what am I supposed to do with this? Uh, I know with me, with uh, nutrition, I really felt that way with the article I wrote this week, The Eat Your Way to Success, is it is exhausting trying to go through all of these conflicting things to try and find some sort, uh, some form of truth. I, I know most parents go through this, especially in the first year of a baby's life. Like when they're not sleeping and you're trying to figure out the best sleep training or not to train or what to feed them, there's just too much information and your head is just spinning and trying to figure out what it is that you need to follow. Um, and I know for myself, like I mentioned, I've been really busy. So my health has definitely slid in terms of exercise. Um, and like sometimes it's just so hard to finally get started again. Like for me, I'm a runner. I would normally call myself a runner, even though it's probably been a couple months since I've been 
um, running running regularly, um, but it's really hard, and you uh, that feeling stuck and not just not knowing what to do and wanting to be where you were before. And looking at people, the other dangerous thing to do is looking at people who have it, who have it all sort of figured out. Maybe it just seems as though they do, uh, and then you're comparing yourself to them, and you're further in that vicious cycle of why can they do it and why can't I? But you can't compare their already done to your just beginning. Like that's not fair to you because they were just beginning at some point. They were in your uh, shoes at some point, but they got there. So how? So let's figure out how to get there. Uh, and this sort of process will apply to if marriage is not in a good space right now or the home is a disaster and you don't know where to clean or organize, um, parenting, like it kind of will go with it with everything. So number one, which if you're watching this, you've already accomplished because knowing is the first step. Okay, hear me out. It's kind of like with that whole acceptance accepting the need to change, you need to recognize that something is wrong. It is, it's probably been like wrong or not, not right for some time now, but you're just now realizing it. Or maybe you've realized it and you've been stuck for a year, but it probably was going off rails uh, for longer than that. So that waking up and knowing, wait a second, this isn't working for me. This job search, this job, this career, this company, uh, this industry, this team, this boss, whatever it is, uh, knowing that you need to change, step number one. Step number two is to honor those feelings. So those feelings of despair, overwhelm, stress, anxiety, um, the knowing that those feelings are normal, knowing that it's okay to feel that, but, and this is a big, but don't wallow in those feelings for too long. So me, uh, I always set timelines. Okay. I'm super structured. So it probably doesn't come very surprised or it come as a surprise. But for example, when I was laid off, even though that day, that first Friday I was laid off, it, I was like living the dream. I was so happy because it was not my home. It wasn't where I met, it was meant to be. But come Monday, when I wasn't going in and the thought of the unknown finally started to sink in, I started to get really scared, <laughs> overwhelmed, didn't know. I knew I wanted to completely change the location and careers. Well, not careers, but industries and the type of place where I would work. Um, and I allowed myself one week to wallow in those feelings. I watched a ton of crappy movies, ate a lot of bad food, just, you know, lived it. But come the next Monday morning, I knew it was time to say, not say goodbye, but to say to my those feelings, hi, nice to see you, but I'm going to ignore you a little bit today. I'm going to move forward. I'm not going to let those feelings keep holding me back from doing something about it. Okay. So using those feelings, instead of trying to repress them, repressing never works. Uh, instead of repressing them, using them to fuel the fire to get going. Using those feelings of discouragement, of overwhelm, of stress to be like, I don't want to live like this anymore. I want to start being happy in my career, in my job search. So I am going to use those feelings to catapult me forward. Okay, so honor your feelings but don't wallow, use them to fuel the fire. That's step two. Step three, this is a hard one. Dig deep. So you're gonna do like a brain dump of some form. If 
For some people, it's writing it out. For some people, it's going for a really long walk. For some people, it's finding someone to vent to. And you're going to talk about all of the things that are going wrong in your career or your job search or whatever it is right now. Okay? Write them all down. Get them out. Every single thing. I want you to list and just feel those feelings that are associated with all of those things that are going wrong. But you got to keep going. You can't stop here. What tends to happen is we write all these down and instead of honoring our feelings and using them as a catapult, we honor those feelings and wallow because now we've just been given a whole bunch of excuses. Okay, so you need to know what the problem is in order to solve it, but don't get stuck into thinking, well, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. Or, you know, yes, maybe my boss is a little right and I suck. Well, hopefully they haven't said that, but uh, you don't use them as an excuse to stay put. Okay, next you're going to brainstorm. So again, this can be done by journaling, it could be done on a long walk, doing it all in your head, or it could be done talking with someone. Go through each of those problems and come up with solutions. Okay, what can I do to fix this? Maybe it is, if you read my article, how to love the job you hate. Maybe it is <clears throat> trying to introduce things into your job right now that you would love to love to be part of. So that you can love the job for now while you figure out your next move. Um, if it's you know your next move is it within the company and you keep getting overlooked for a promotion, come up with solutions. Why do you keep getting overlooked for your promotion? Maybe you need to read the, <clears throat> the how to sell yourself so that you're selling yourself and what you bring to the table properly. Okay. Um, <clears throat> other solutions uh, if you're in a job search. And you've sent out hundreds upon hundreds of resumes and have only gotten one interview request. Brainstorm solutions. Maybe you need to take a look at that resume like we've discussed in previous Q&As. Figuring out what it is that you can do to fix the problem. Okay. And just like any brainstorming a session, there's no wrong answer. Just throw all the solutions out there. You're not going to do all of them. But in order for you to figure out which one you're going to start with, you need to get it all out there. And then the last step, pick one thing. Just pick one. Okay. Think about what you can do tomorrow. So it could be super easy. It could be super challenging. Whatever you think you have the time and mental energy, physical energy to actually do. So that could be writing a resume. It could be signing up for a job alert on Indeed. So you get those emails every day. It could be scheduling a meeting with your manager. It could be finding a mentor or meeting up with a mentor. It could be simple as doing the 16personalities.com assessment to help you figure out maybe a direction if that's if that's one of the concerns. Um, reaching out to someone, reaching out to a friend who maybe has gone through this before. Reaching out to someone like me, a career coach, um, who can help maybe provide an unbiased view. Uh, could be just coming up with a plan, like using something like my dream career planner or any sort of planner to sort of say, okay, next week, you know what? I think I can devote 10 minutes a day to something. Just one thing. That one thing will become another thing. It'll become another thing. And the next thing you know, you'll be out of that quicksand. You'll have chipped away at the cement blocks. You'll have found your way out of the water. And you'll have found your way to where you want to be, to where you're no longer overwhelmed or stressed depressed, anxious, all of those crappy feelings, they won't go away forever. Life happens. But majority of the time, you will feel content and happy and fulfilled 
all from doing just one thing. So please tell me what it is you're struggling with. Tell me what kind of solution do you think you can come up with and what is the one thing you're going to do this week? Let's be accountability partners. Tell me. I'll keep you accountable. What is one thing you can do this week to, to fix it? Okay? Message me if you want to go public with it. Comment on this or comment on my page. Uh, if you want me to share it to be as an inspiration to other people, please let me know. Because uh, this feeling of there being too much out there and not knowing what to do with it all, like, I feel in every aspect of our life is becoming more the norm. And I don't really like that. Um, I know I hate it for myself. It's super uncomfortable, super uncomfortable. And so I hope that we can work together as this community to sort of inspire and motivate each other to do just that one thing to move forward. Okay, I hope that helps. Um, if you have any further questions about this, this is a topic that we can go on and on and on, like what to do once you've done that one thing. Uh, we can talk about that or any other job search questions or career development questions. Uh, we can address them next week in the Q&A. Um, but right now I'm going to sign off. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Happy job hunting. Happy finding your one thing and getting unstuck. Let me know what you're doing.